I'm assuming that the people at the front desk know a thing or two about getting stuck out here. I'm gonna go ask them, but the next door neighbor with the Class A has a record coming to pull them out. Really? Yeah, that sounds expensive, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, divided by two though. <laughs> Maybe he'd give us a deal. Yeah, we'd love that. Next, I'm gonna make those little peanut butter ball things. Do you know what those are? Don't know anything. It's a thing here. Is it? Yes. Yeah. What you doing now? Just getting some burger meat ready. All right, so we've made it to Cedar Point, and of what are going here? Registration and check-in. Of all resorts we've ever been to, this is perhaps the only one that we could have ever used a map and did not get one. She's like, yeah, just go down. She says, yeah, right, and then left. <laughs> it was about three miles from the check-in, wrapping around the entire place. Yeah. And at one point we thought, there's no way this is the right way. And then we okay. started seeing RVs. The best part about this RV park is coming in and watching everybody drop mm -hmm. and scream because it gets you like. And then hearing the boys in the back moan and going, cry oh. and whimper. They whimpered like Charlie Wait, in the no, morning. No, no. I li we have footage of it. We were like, oh my God. I don't. The camera mom, was out the mom's front. Like, <laughs> mom's not even and, going. And like, not even going. Mom, can you take over the wheel, please? I'm and getting I, a Charlie I, horse. I'm getting a Charlie I'm horse. I'm getting a Charlie horse. We'll see who gets a Charlie horse. Charlie. Okay, oh, hello, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Charlie. Don't get a Charlie horse. Hi, Charlie. Ah. All right, I'm going to go check in. Charlie. Okay. I guess we just put our boys on the bus <laughs> for like the first time. <laughs> That's a pretty good bus to get on. That's a good bus. Okay, so the plan is with their special little two day pass. They're gonna go map out the park, figure out what's cool, and then tomorrow you're joining them to go get on the really good rides first yeah. thing in the morning. Yeah. It's supposed to rain tomorrow though, so Ooh. be ready. Setting up the rig and getting everything squared away, detaching with the roller coasters right above us and all the screaming is actually a lot of fun. And I will say that this site is fantastic. Total privacy with these privacy wall right here. Plus you've got grass on both sides, plenty large and enough room for our side deck to come down over the table. It's fantastic. And you're probably wondering, what does this site cost? Hmm, 118 a night. We're only here for two nights. This classifies as some of the most expensive RV parks we've ever stayed at. But to be walking distance from Cedar Point, that is clearly what we're here to do. Uh, what are you doing, Charlie? Charlie, Charlie. Charlie, what do you have, Charlie? Charlie. What is that? What is that, Charlie? Charlie. No. Charlie. Charlie. Drop what it. do you have, Charlie? Drop it. Charlie, you're going around faster. Charlie. Drop it. Sit. Good boy. Drop the boy. Good boy. All right, today is Cedar Point Day, and it is about a quarter to nine. The park opens at 9 a.m. early for the people staying here at the park. Opens up to everybody at 10. Our plan, because we do not have fast passes, which I have a feeling is essential for visiting here. You need a fast pass. That's the lines the and the rides, 
Oh, go at night. At seven or eight, it's so good. We dropped the boys I off didn't yesterday. I see a single line. Three, I think they went over there at three, and they were back by six. I thought they'd be back by 10. Go, go, go. Why are you back? Why are you back? The lines are too long. It's like 10 hours for a Come on, Charlie. Line. And they it, said, we yeah, did we did, we, the they did one ride. And so then Trish said, you have to go back there. Who cares if they're long lines? We're here at Cedar Point, we're only here for two days. So they went back and apparently things kind of broke up in the evening, but. Two hour line. We'll see how it is. You know, I tend to get a little grumpy in environments with tons of people where I feel like I'm being fleeced, but we're here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have fun no. with my boys. <laughs> You're not though. You're really not. The lines are like this. Really? Is it bad? No, like, can we buy fast passes? They're $84 a pop, and we're only here today. I don't care. Nice bag here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wait, this is actually a lot of space. Is this bigger than the F-250? Is it? Yeah, every car go. Yeah. No, 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 you think this is more bigger space than the F-250? No, the F-250 is the same. Okay, there's a lot of space. The only thing I wish they would do is recline the seats. Like, I wish the seats would go back a little bit. And all they have to do is just bring the Ram does this, okay? Ram hey, does this. Where's the door? And I'm not anti-Ram. I think Ram yes. makes a great truck. Thanks, Mrs. Leach. I have my phone, so I'll call you when we need to be picked up, okay? Okay. Bye. <laughs> so we're gonna head off to the Wood Roller Coaster, but here's the deal. We decided to do a straight face contest today. And oh, and Dad's gonna... Me and I say... think I have pretty good chances because Mark. look at the expression of my face on the ride we just got off of. So we decided to jog to each ride, which is great, because now I'm getting a little bit of a workout, and then we get a little break, we get to rest, we'll go on the ride, and my plan is to do all the rides before 9.30 a.m. and go back to the rig for the rest of the day. This is Caleb's fourth time on a ride that I won't do once. All right, we just did the, what was it called? Like Steel Revenge? Yeah. Something like that. It's the number one roller coaster. Steel Vengeance. Steel Vengeance. The number one roller coaster in the world based upon coaster review websites. And I can see why. A lot of the roller coasters out here, like stomach dropping and they're scary and they're twisting and turning, but they're not like super fun. This one's like super fun, right? Yeah. The way it goes up and down and and oh. yeah and it's on a wood structure which kind of makes it kind of cool mm -hmm. but there's something that's really funny on the ride and when we get back to the rig i'm going to tell trish and turn the camera on because carson needs some sort of cat-like reflex award carson and i elected to go and wait in line to be on the very last oh so you get whipped so you get the whip which is by the way highly recommend and we're going through the corkscrew at the end and our hands are up above our head, right? Because we thought we put our hands up because there's nothing to hold on to, right? Right. Tell them. Right, so, it. hands are above the head, right? Yeah. Guy's wallet flies out of his pocket, <laughs> comes towards me, I go like this and catch it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's I hear awesome. Carson screaming about something, right? And I figured it was just like, like it just feels like you're gonna hit these steel beams as you're going over, because it's like hopping you like this and then corkscrewing you. Yeah. And anyway, and I look over and I'm like, what? And then he's got this wallet in his hand. And I'm like, where did you get that wallet? And he's like, I just caught it. <laughs> it was crazy. And then the dude ahead what? of us was like, thank you. I don't have my wallet got out of my pocket, but it literally came out of his pants and in the air when we're corkscrewing. And, and it was like catches. suspended in the air because we were going down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. And but it, it was a trade-off because the Samsung fell out of my pocket. Yes. Yeah. So sad. It yeah, looks like but not on this ride. On a different ride, it fell out. It looks like the disco. Yeah, but oh. the front's okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyhow, so That's I will say. Lot. So sad. I will say yeah. that the Steel Vengeance really is the best ride here. There's a lot of rides that are scarier and more intense and more everything, mm -hmm. but not as fun. Oh. Like that ride's actually scary and fun. And then with all the wood and its height and its drops, it's actually a lot of fun. Cool. So anyway, and then it started raining and we came home. Perfect timing. But where's Caleb? Caleb's out. We lost him. He found. I think he found a friend, and he's he's just out and about. So. All right. You ready to go? You ready to go, Charlie? Oh. Hi, Charlie.
You're good over there. Can you look out your passenger side? Well, that went well. That was amazing. Did you get a shot of those wheels cranked over? Yeah, one turn, man. Isn't that crazy? I love it. Well, the park is amazing. Whomever is in charge of the landscaping is a legend. Yeah. Because it is impeccable. And, and the grounds are so clean. Yes. You know, the only thing that can improve is that it could be a more fun experience. Like, the staff could make it more fun to be here and there could be excitement and energy instead it's just kind of like well it's theme park funny because the things that cost money which are landscaping rides all of that are amazing and the things that don't cost anything a smile mm -hmm. are not here yeah so it, it, i guess i guess the experience i guess the whole thing is just kind of it's a bit expensive so you expect more right and that's you know the best thing is to have repeat customers yeah so you know we could, in our mind, be leaving here going, I can't wait to come back. Instead, yeah. we're like, okay, we did it. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. We use a grill all the time. We use cook, anything that has to do with cooking, I use it every day, multiple times a day. So, I want that table, case, lid, thing. So if we haven't mentioned, Trish went out and got the 17 inch Blackstone grill. And I said, let's not get the 17 inch because it's not hot enough, let's get the 22 inch so I can put the lid over it and the next thing I know, Trish comes home with the 17 inch. Okay, Blackstone I grill. need action. So when someone says, <laughs> I'll well, be your Dwight. I'll be your number this. two. I'll be regional to assistant manager. Assistant. <laughs> assistant regional. to the regional manager. Yeah. Assistant to the regional manager. No, assistant regional manager. Okay. Yes. Without I, the two. Okay. I got promoted. Okay. In season two, episode five. I'll All right. promote you. You're so cute. Oh. He's <laughs> <laughs> getting pretty good at that. Yeah. Too good. Too okay. Good. So anyway, um, okay. here's the thing. Say you're gonna get in my I have to in have my it. defense, the 22 inch Blackstone grill is on back order and not available on Amazon. You take action. I know you do. But here's the thing: when I finally admit that I have a need, I had it 30 days ago. And yeah, I, that's true. You know, I'm like, I'll live with this. But the reason I didn't get the totally 17 inches totally because fine. it's not good for steaks. It's good for like hamburgers and vegetables. We're and downsizing. Hot dogs. We're okay. downsizing. There we go. That looks awesome. Okay, so is there ketchup and um, will you open up that barbecue sauce on the counter? Ooh, for sure. What's this? You can see the little baby grapes. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, check it out. Look at them. They're amazing. Let me see. Where's my bottle of wine? Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? You know what? It was just last season. Where were we? We were in Paso Robles at yes. Rio Seco, which is another Harvest House location. Mm -hmm. And they were ripe. Is that the right term? They were so good right off of the... Oh, line. yeah. They were all sugary. So when was that? That was September. Yes. And so, and right now it's... What month is it? This is June. June. We're in June. And now they're just starting to come out, right? Yes. It's crazy. Yeah, you know, so anybody that stays at a Harvest Host location, I would love it if you would tag us in a picture on Instagram mm -hmm. so that I can check it out yep. and tell us how it was because there are so many amazing locations like this one yep. and sometimes we forget to even look. I know. So if we pull it up. Right, we drive through and so anyway, uh, Harvest Host, I actually text Joel and I said, is that- He's a, the owner of Yeah, Harvest he's Host. the new owner of Harvest Host and he's done a lot of great things. And of course the previous owners have done a lot of great things. Amazing. And so he said that you're coming up with an app. And so now on our phone, we can pull up all the locations on the on the app. I don't even think I've shown you yet. That's so cool. Yeah. So you we, used to have to log into your computer. Exactly. Which made it tricky. Yes. But now. Well, it means you had to be planned. You had to plan, and we don't do that. We well, don't do that. So very now you well. just pull it up on your phone, and we can drive through. But this is an exceptional location, for sure. 
know what it is All with right. grapes, but we have sure recorded a lot of grapes. They're just so cool. They're so pretty. They are. It is a super wet and soggy morning. It's been raining for two days straight. The Class A over on the other side of us is attempting to get pulled out because it is slipping in the soggy grass. I suppose we could have the same problem when we hook up here. Because we don't have our batteries yet, and we were tired of running the generator and we needed to work on videos, we just wanted to set up somewhere for the weekend. That's very typical what we do. We go in somewhere and get set up. But now it's Sunday and the video is done and we need to make our way to Elkhart to install the batteries and uh, go meet up with future sales. We've got a hotel plans because I think they're going to tear apart the whole rig. It's going to be pretty good and it'll probably be next weekend's episode. So that's all we got for now. Let's see if we can let's see if we can get out of here. have the tractor pull you out and then you're going to try and get into the hitch this way yeah and get some traction and new ground that way. new ground but in order to get that angle on it to pull off the tailgate because I won't you're be able have to, to pull off the tailgate it only takes a second but see the tailgate if I come in at that steep angle the tailgate will hit the rig oh wow okay here we go as you can tell things are not going well the big idea here was to reconnect at a different angle and then on top of boards, but this all was much harder than it seemed. Now at this point, Trish is reminding me that getting towed out is actually going to be cheaper than anything I was about to do to the truck and trailer, and I reluctantly agreed. To make matters worse, I renewed our Good Sam membership at $26 a year just to get the RV park discounts, but I let the Good Sam roadside membership lapse and the tow truck pulling out our neighbor only takes good sound. Mr. Tow Truck Driver's here for the Class A and first impression, I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> so we're gonna find out how it goes over there for them and then. He has a lifetime's worth of knowledge of towing. So I'm knowledge. wondering. Knowledge. I'm just wondering if he has some tricks up his sleeves that he could teach us. Cause I have a feeling this is gonna be a thing. Well, a Michigan, uh, a Michigan thing. thing this summer. Mm -hmm. uh, I will tell you that it was fun for the first hour, and now it's not fun now anymore. Now it's not fun anymore. So, how do you start the conversation? Do you say, so since you're here... <laughs> Maybe practice that a couple more times. So what's your best price on a, on a wench? <laughs> On a pole, on a Hey, tongue. you did pretty good with him. What do you got planned for me? How was that? Is that good? <laughs> oh, that's even better. All right, good. Yeah, good. You're, not, you're not focusing on price there. You got to oh. use your like yard sale skills. Okay. So, like, what's the best price we can work out here? All right, I'll, yeah. I'll tap in. Yeah. I talked to him and he said, hook up. Okay. And he said, and then I'll get that rig out straight ahead of you and I'll just winch you out. You'll get what rig out and straight ahead of you? He wants me to hook up and then he can see, he can put his rig anywhere. He can put it through the trees and. He can put those wedges down oh. and pull me out straight. So he said hook up. So I think we should get our tailgate back on because once okay. once the it's hooked up to the rig, well, we could we could hook up the tailgate after. That'll be annoying. And we have time right now because we're right. busy. So you want to plug that can of battery in and we'll hook yeah. up. You want to bring your truck? Where do you want to bring your truck? Yeah, we'll just walk over the battery, I guess, huh? Walk well, over the tailgate. I can, bring the, I can bring the tailgate over. Well, let's just cut right to it. 175 on a credit card and 150 cash. We don't have 150 cash, so it looks like it's 175. How much is a CoachNet membership or a Good Sam membership? Less than that. A pulley, that's what I meant. All 
All right, so now that he pulled me out, he wants me to pull forward, pull back, and then just make the left-hand turn. And then okay, he's so gonna we watch. need to be back there for the he's, tree. He's gonna watch that. You just keep reporting. Okay. All right. guys right here have to be unplugged and then they get unplugged and then you can pop it off so let's see I gotta getting some nice gas fumes down fuel fumes whatever oh, yeah. you're getting fumes down there there I guess it would be this right here. Let's see. Yep. So it's working, right? Nice. Just as easy as that. Woohoo!